Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. The Centerville Washington Foundation helps people help the community. What does that mean? Well, here to tell us more, we have Jack Lobeck, who is the president of the Centerville Washington Foundation. And thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you, Maureen. And kind of walking us through that, because when we hear Centerville Washington Foundation, people probably have seen it. You've been around for 20 years now, but give us an idea of what the foundation's all about. Well, first of all, we are a component of the Dayton Foundation and we focus strictly on the Centerville, Washington Township area. And to put it probably in short term. Yeah, in easy I, terms for us. <laughs> our job is to move the needle on philanthropy. We act as a conduit for people that want to give, matching them up with organizations and projects in Centerville, Washington Township that need that type of support. Uh, some of the things that we have supported, food to go, um, the clock in front of the, uh, the township uh, hall. In Which is part of your logo, too. Part now, of the right? logo, yeah. exactly. Uh, TJ's Place of Hope. These are all organizations that serve people within our community. So it is truly a community fund. And uh, again, the other end of the supply chain, as I call it, we, we deal with the supply chain of ph philanthropy. Okay. We, there's money out there that people want to do something with, they don't know what to do. We can help them. We can help them either through the bigger picture with the Dayton Foundation, if they, if they have lots and lots of money, they can set up their own um, fund. They can set up a charitable checking account. There's no fees to do that and uh, they can give money to us that will be spent locally in Centerville, Washington Township. We, uh, we do entertain uh, grants from organizations outside of here, but only when they can demonstrate that they are serving people within the community. Uh, so that's, that's our criteria. You need to be serving right. people within the community. And right now we're in the middle of our spring grant cycle. And so what does it mean to be in the middle? It means that the grant cutoff is date, uh, date has passed. Okay. Uh, actually, our grants subcommittee has met, reviewed the grants, and they are in the process of preparing a recommendation for the board to approve by the end of uh, this month. Our board meeting is the end of March. and as a lead-in to do all your work for you, as a lead-in <laughs> to the annual meeting, we will be announcing those grants and presenting those okay. grants at the annual meeting on April 19th. Okay, well let's talk about the annual meeting. Okay. And then we can talk about um, kind of like both sides of this. So the annual meeting is on April 19th, as yes. you said. It mm -hmm. starts at 530. Correct. And it's at the Golf Club at Yankee Trace. Correct. And who is invited to this meeting? Who should be attending? Any member of our community that is interested in helping to advance the the way of life philanthropy in this area if they want to come and hear our story the annual meeting is just what it says it's our chance to tell our constituents the people who have funded us in the past the people who are interested in funding us we're there to tell them about what we've done in the last year okay so let's say there's a family or an individual a group that would be interested in maybe starting to fund how do you have to be wealthy how do you do that can well uh, there's there's lots of ways up and down the ladder I would say if there's some and and I um, I should have this these numbers but I would say there are about 50 families in the Centerville Washington Township area that have some sort of fund with the Dayton Foundation and it could be a, a charitable checking account where somebody wants to put money away and then they can spend it as they, you know, the needs come mm -hmm. up, but maybe they want to set some aside this year, some aside next year. Um, they can do that. That's a charitable checking account. And the Dayton Foundation manages those. Uh, we, our mission, part of our mission of the Centerville Washington Foundation is to promote those, to promote the interest in those funds. Uh, because again, if we look at our our job is to move the needle on philanthropy. There's a lot of people out there that may have an estate that's 
you know, maybe it's $200,000 and they say, oh, it's not enough money to get involved. Any amount of money you can get involved with philanthropy if you want uh, if you want to give back to the community. Or and again, really, everything is focused on Centerville, Washington Township area. Yes. Now, if you okay. put it into the charitable checking account, you can send that anywhere okay. you want. But if it comes into our fund, and we have two little pieces of our Centerville, Washington Foundation. The first is the discretionary fund. And that's the fund that we've had for the last 20 years, and this is our 20th year, um, where we... Uh, we have money and we can spend whatever we feel we need. Now, we have purposely tried to grow that, mm -hmm. that fund so that we could do bigger things and give bigger uh, awards. And, you know, kind of the, the recent tr track record is two years ago, the funds that we gave, we gave $15,000 in 2016. Last year in 2017, we gave $20,500. This year, the board has committed to $30,000. And that's quite a, quite a growth there. Congratulations! And, and that's we've really got amazing. A, we've we've got an internal commitment and goal larger than that, and uh, we have to raise the money. But we will seek ways to do that. But uh, uh, we do that by spreading the word, coming to events. Yeah coming to a, a function like this, mm -hmm. having the annual meeting, talking about it on on uh, this television station and to uh, mailings, word of mouth, Facebook, website. I'm a believer that if you paint the picture, the people will respond. And we just need to continue to improve the picture that we paint. Well, let's talk about the, the recipients of those grants because, okay. as you said, you've... Um, increased every year yes and um, probably all of our viewers are familiar with most of the organizations that you're awarding grants to yes so we've got I know um, we've talked in the, you mentioned some but food. children so uh, food to go program yeah. and we do the arts uh, we have been a sponsor for the last several years for um, the concert Our summer series. concert Your series, summer concert okay. series. Uh, we've we have helped with some sponsorship at Woodland Lights uh, we have given to Hannah's oh, treasure uh, chest. Treasure mm -hmm. chest. Um, again, the food to go. We have we have worked with Boggs Ministries that works. Yeah, that's with, been a long a long term relationship, hasn't yes. it? Yeah. We're working with them, and they have a project to not only to get food to the people that are needy in our community, but also to pair that up with uh, a little bit of education on nutrition. And, okay. and, and make sure that it's healthy foods and people are having healthy diets because of the long-term impact of, of your diet with your health and, and, and so on. Um, so these organizations make an application for the grant. Yes, we have two grant cycles a year, the, the fall and the mm -hmm. spring. And generally we, we give half the money out that we're gonna give in the spring and half in the fall. This year we're gonna do, we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, we've announced that we're going to run a spring grant cycle with giving away approximately 10000 and a fall cycle approximately 10000 And then we've announced that we're going to do one grant of $10,000. Oh. We've never given one away okay. like that, but yeah. we, we, we want the not-for-profits to think of a significant project that would warrant a $10,000 grant. So the ten thousand dollars, or all these funds, are coming from the funding to that, the foundation. Right, and we raise our money through um, just the generosity of our community with people giving. We have a the annual meeting. While it's not, it's it's designed first and foremost as a vehicle to report back mm -hmm. to the community of what we've done. We f we feel we owe our funders financial stewardship and then we also have an annual uh, another meeting once a year in um, September and that's called our founders right. event and we we that that's quite honestly is a straight out and out fundraiser the reason we do that is to raise money but also to honor people that have really made a difference in our community 
And you I know. have to say, we, we videotaped that. Yes. And you can watch those, you know, right here on Channel 5. And they are so interesting because you really are going to learn about true uh, change agents, people who really make a difference in our community. Oh, those yes. are terrific programs. And, and some of the names you, you won't recognize because these are people that have just worked behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Right. They're under the radar. Under doing the good radar. Work. <laughs> some of the people... Bob Corbin was a recipient. Everybody knew Bob Corbin, and and so he was he was out there in front. But but others such as Bob and Bernita Daly, right. they they've done so much under the radar, mm -hmm. and it's just overwhelming the amount of the impact that they've had on people's lives in in this area. Well, I want to talk too about a board because you have a governing board. We do. And tell us about uh, the responsibilities of that board. Well. <laughs> Uh, and it's interesting. Uh, I believe we have one of the best boards that I've been associated and with. And there we are looking at there them. There we are, <laughs> yep. I, and for, for any of our listeners that have served on boards, um, uh, this board is an active, involved board. Uh, okay. We are, uh, we, we have historically not had paid, paid staff, so we've done a lot of the work. Uh, we're looking at making a little change there because we, we want to ramp up our mm -hmm. activity. Um, but we have a strong committee structure. People ask, why is this board so active? Because the heavy lifting is not done at the board meeting. The heavy lifting is done within the committee structure. And uh, once a year, the first or second Saturday of January, uh, the board, the entire board gets together and we have a planning session. What, what do we need to improve upon this year? W what's our three or four initiatives that we're going to take on this year to be better than we were last year? Well, that's and, a great goal. And, and then you seem to achieve it each so, year. <laughs> so we've been, we've been moving it forward. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I, I would say the, the success of this group of people is 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 due to first of all their commitment to the community but more than that it's their willingness to do the work in the committee structure and also the uh, the way we have a planning cycle every year um, we have uh, we have our activity list that's generated everybody knows at the beginning of the year what days am I committing to the Centerville Washington Foundation? When's our meetings? We have about nine or ten board meetings a year. Um, we have a lot of committee meetings. Our standing committees are marketing, donor development, grants, events, and, and those, those committees work very hard. And obviously a good place to go to learn more about the foundation would be the annual meeting. Yes. So again, we want to invite people. That is on Thursday, April 19th. It begins at 530. It's at the Golf Club at Yankee Trace. But if someone wanted to contact you, Jack, or get more information, what's the best way to do that? Well, I and I believe we will have a graphic yep. up there. Mm -hmm. And we have a phone number. Okay. And the phone number is 937-265-0110. And we have an email account if you would like to email us. It's cwfoundation45 at gmail.com. And that's a good place to go to maybe ask additional questions or Correct. to get started. Or, or let us know that you want to come to the meeting. Uh, we do it's like, open to the public, right? We, we, it's open to the public. We do like reservations because okay. we do have hors d'oeuvres. Uh, and we do have to plan for tables and settings and things. So if you're going to come, we certainly would like to hear from you. And, uh, but uh, even if you forget to call us or email us, and on April 19th at 4.30 is rolling around saying, hey, something's <laughs> on my calendar, come on over to Yankee Trace and uh, get to know us. Well, thank you for sharing the information. The foundation does great work. For more information, you can also give us a call at 433-7151. Thanks for watching.